are now joining us on the Word of God through Jesus Christ Street and Outreach Ministry as the Lord uses us to watch a clip of feeding the sheep. So i like to ask you to really pay attention and uh, let's start off in prayer right now before we do anything then we're getting right into this because we got a lot to cover. Father, oh, you sisters at home, according to, you know what? Yes, Lord. God has already started. Um, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, I'd just like to ask you sisters to accommodate the Lord, okay? And let's line up. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11 Verse 1, Brother Paul wrote, Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things, and keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. Now here's where we need to appease God. Let's, let's oblige God right here. Verse 4, Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. And his head is God, actually. And the word there, praying, means worship, and prophesying means speaking for the Lord. Verse 5 says, But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered, dishonoreth her head, for that is even all one as if she were shaven. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shorn. But if it be a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, let her be covered. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image and glory of God, but the woman is the glory of the man. So I'd like to ask you sisters at home, put on a prayer shawl if you have one, put on a bonnet, or a scarf or whatever cover your head because it it shows that you're under subjection we're going to touch on that more than lightly later i hear the lord saying in this broadcast but i just like to ask you let's line up uh and uh, uh, uh oblige the lord and let's obey his word okay so sisters cover your head and brothers if you have a hat on take it off okay and let's go before the lord lined up with his word Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you asking you to forgive us for our sins and our shortcomings. Forgive us for our faults and our wrongs. We thank you for this time of fellowship and gathering. I thank you, Lord, for those that you have handpicked at home to sit around the television set to watch this broadcast. I thank you for those that you are blessing to watch it by internet or other social media, or those that are driving down the street listening to this by DVD, or that are watching this by VHS, or that may be listening to this by audio cassette. I thank you, Lord, for the many platforms that you have blessed this ministry, which bears your name, to be able to get the word out and to use for your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we rebuke the devil. We plead the blood of Jesus against him. Oh, we, we bind him in the earth realm because he's already bound in heaven. We plead the blood against him. We command him to go back to the pit of hell from whence he came. We loose our stuff, not just our stuff, but everybody we're praying for and standing for. We loose their stuff and our stuff. We loose ourselves and them from the grip of the enemy and we plead the blood over us from head to toe as a covering that we can't even be touched. Glory. Oh, Lord, we, we, we cast out every demon that worked for Satan. It don't matter what their name or rank is. We plead the blood against them. We command them to go back to the pit of hell from where they came. And we loose our stuff from their grip as well. We loose ourselves from their grip. We loose everyone that we're praying for from their grip. And, Lord, we just thank you. We just worship you. And we thank you give you the glory and the honor. We thank you. We ask, Lord, that you just throw your weight around, Father. We ask that you allow us to see your glory. And Lord, I'm asking that you minister. You do the teaching. Allow me to decrease 
that you may increase. I have to decrease. I must decrease that you may increase. It has to be all about you and not about me. There's too many people lifting up other people. There's too many people lifting up people that they call their leaders, but there's not many mentioning your name. Um, oh, glory. But I like to say that you are our leader. Those of us that are part of that remnant that you are talking about these days. Those of us that you have called and chosen and made usable and put us on the front line. Those of us that as you move those national ministers out of the way who've lost focus of the mission. Those of us that you have stirred up and are moving us to the forefront. You are our leader. Our God. Those of us that you have given a work to. We are the underseers. But you are the overseer. And we just thank you. I ask, Father, again, that you do the teaching. And bring glory to your own self. And let us see your glory. Stir up the anointing. And move through Jesus. Mighty name. We thank you, we pray. Amen. Well, God bless you. Thank you for joining us on the Word of God through Jesus Christ, Street and Outreach Ministry, as we watch the clip on feeding the sheep. I pray that you got something out of it and got encouraged. You can reach the ministry at 475-300-3850. 24 7. God bless you. And again, thank you for watching. In Jesus' name, amen.